Hi, so welcome to the course. Right now we're going to jump right into it and uh, we're going to start by defining what pages, numbers, and keynote is. So let's start with pages. What is pages? Well, according to Apple's website, pages is a powerful word processor that lets you create stunning documents. And I do agree. It is a very powerful word processor that is free with every Apple computer, which is amazing. And you can really create some really stunning documents with pages. And we'll see that as we go along in this course. Uh, numbers. What is numbers? With numbers, well, you can create beautiful spreadsheets that include impressive tables and images. So uh, what is it? It's a it's a spreadsheet maker, if you will. Uh, I don't know what the, it's a spreadsheet software, right? So it'll allow you to make calculations, uh, have tables, graphs, images, and it is really, really, really powerful. It's really a neat application. So numbers is all about creating amazing spreadsheets. And of course you can create it to make amazing reports with spreadsheets, but it could also very, be a very powerful, just simple spreadsheet for yourself as well. The th third one is Keynote. What is Keynote? Well, Apple says that with its powerful tools and dazzling effects, Keynote makes it easy to create stunning and memorable presentations. So uh, Keynote is all about creating presentations. In fact, you should know that uh, many of Apple's presentations, when they have all these product releases and they have their own presentations, they actually use a lot of Keynote in their presentation. So I don't know if it's all Keynote, but definitely a lot of Keynote in their presentations. And if you've ever seen those presentations, they're, they're beautiful. They do a really great job. And Keynote is all about uh, presenting some something. Uh, so let me tell you maybe an easier way to understand these three pieces of software is probably not the way that Apple would want me to present it, but let me show you what I think they really are. So if you're familiar with Microsoft Word, uh, Pages is similar to Microsoft Word. Now, uh, to be honest, I haven't used Microsoft Word in years, uh, but I can tell you that in my personal opinion, I think Pages really supersedes what can be done with Microsoft Word. So uh, really, uh, Pages is Apple's response to Microsoft Word. In my opinion, uh, Pages is a lot more powerful. Uh, now, in fairness, I haven't used Microsoft Word in several years now, so maybe they've upped their game. But I remember when I made the switch to Pages, uh, I really just really enjoyed Pages using it a whole lot more than Microsoft Word. Uh, so Pages is kind of the answer to Microsoft Word. So if you're familiar with Microsoft Word, Pages is a word processor just like it, but in my personal opinion, better, frankly. Uh, numbers, what is numbers? Well, it's Apple's response to Excel spreadsheets. Again, I hear, I think that there are some things that maybe Excel might do in terms of calculations that may be more powerful than numbers. Uh, again, I'm not being really fair here uh, because I really enjoy using numbers. Numbers, in my opinion, is a lot easier. Most people are going to enjoy using numbers and numbers is probably more than what most people would even need. Uh, but it really does help you create some really stunning uh, spreadsheets. So Excel is more just kind of boxy, if you will. So if you are used to using Excel, numbers is going to free you up. I, you're going to really enjoy using numbers. Uh, but if you really are the boxy type, you may miss some features from Excel. Uh, then uh, Keynote is really just PowerPoint for the Mac. <laughs> uh, Keynote, again, I personally love Keynote uh, far better than my experience, at least my, my experience years ago with PowerPoint, but Keynote is presentation software. That's what it really comes down to. So you have uh, pages, numbers, Keynote, and in this course, we're gonna be talking about what they are, what they do. We're gonna take them one by one. Um, and next, what we're gonna do is show you how you can install these on your computer if you haven't done so yet. So join me in the next module.